Hey, peace, love, and light, beautiful, beautiful divine feminines. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and as you can tell, I am here to do a general reading for the divine feminine collective energy. I will, you beautiful souls are feeling amazing on this Thursday. I am doing amazing on my side of the planet. I have no complaints. Everything is blissed, beloveds. This is going to be a general reading. It will not be a deep dive, um, but this will be a peek to take a peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with my divine feminine energy. Again, um, if you are new, I welcome you all to the platform. I will that a message is resonates, uh, that the messages resonate for you today. Um, if you find that it does, please be kind. Hit the like button. That is the way that you could show love to the platform. That is a way that you can rotate and return the gesture of love from me providing this reading, clear and concise message for you. Also, on your way out, hit the subscribe button if you so wish to do so. Uh, you may share this video. And definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I have any other uh, future uploads. If you are returning, beloveds, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Um, my readings are general. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, your rising, check your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Hey, check your north node, your south node to see what's going on with you in your chart so that you could get a better understanding of your chart of yourselves um, my readings are also timeless so whenever this video has found you that was divine timing and in divine order that that has occurred um, I, I just want to say thank you all for tuning and tapping in I'm definitely humbled and appreciative of you all showing love as I've mentioned in my last reading I will start implementing sound baths before I delve into the reading just to heighten the frequency raise the vibration um, for the collective okay uh, I have my shaman drum here today that I will be using um, and it is quite loud so uh, you know I like to hear all all them notes, all them binaural sounds. So I tend to just have my my volume cranked all the way up. Uh, my baby girl Katara, my cat, may not appreciate this because this I believe this is a little too loud for her. Hopefully, she doesn't leave because she's always very close by whenever I am tapping into the energy or channeling. Um, and that's because she's tapped in. That's my baby. But um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to give you a nice little sound bath. Uh, like I said, just to to ground the energy center you uh, before this reading. Uh, so let's go ahead, get some house cleaning done before we go any further. I do want to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether and spirit. Ashe. Uh, I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light for my beautiful divine feminines. I ask that you help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. I also personally call upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, ashe, ashe. So I haven't even begun the reading and my nose is tingling. And that is one of the many sensations that I feel when I start channeling. So I do have a feeling this message is going to be good. Um, I also heard somebody could be nosy. You might have some nosy folks around you or some folks nosing around so that that's just what i'm picking up intuitively but let's go ahead as i said before we go ahead and bang on this beautiful shaman drum i would like to ask you all to just inhale deeply three times exhale three times ashe just to center yourselves and and ground yourselves get grounded in your energy ashe so let's go ahead inhale deeply Exhaled. You may inhale again. And 
exhale. Inhale one last time. And exhale. Okay. Ooh, that feels good. I love that. I love it. So you may close your eyes, open your eyes, whatever you feel you so wish to do at this time. But let's go ahead and get a nice little sound bath going. Ashe. spirit so that is the sound bath I hope that you enjoy that as I said that was one of the downloads I received during my time away was to start um, you know just incorporating some sound baths start giving you all um, you know a nice little uh, sound bath so that you can channel you know so that the messages can first and foremost resonate <laughs> with you because you are grounded, but also just to heighten the frequency and raise the vibration, as I've mentioned. You know, a lot of you all come, you know, uh, you know, looking for these readings with a heavy heart. You know, so it's very important to be grounded uh, before you receive any information. And I always like to remind you all, even though it's in my description box, I also like to remind you all to never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever, ever. Submit your will in my Chris Tucker voice. <laughs> Don't submit your will. You know what I'm saying? Don't submit your will to anybody. Not a reader, not a, 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 a friend, not anyone external to yourself. Definitely always, 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 you know, uh, maintain that, that, um, that self-control. You know, you have to be in control, the sole controller of your you know, destiny. Don't let anybody come in and trick you into thinking that they have some sort of authority over you. You know, that is the biggest trick and the biggest, you know, lie that one could ever um, fall for. So I do want to let you all know, like, don't don't fall for the okie doke. Never submit your will. I don't care who's reading for you. I don't care who's standing before you. Your will is yours. Never submit it to anyone else because then you are giving them domination over you. You're allowing them to control you and to manipulate you. And we just don't want to do that. But I digress. I don't want to go into a whole diatribe. Let's go ahead and get some music going on. If you are new here, I do channel messages intuitively. I am clairaudient. So I do incorporate music into my readings. And the way that it works, songs, um, the lyrics within the songs, the name of the songs, the name of the artist, sometimes even the timestamp, it will resonate correlate with what I am channeling intuitively as well is what the cards are showing so um, it's very beautiful the way it all blends together so we have Anita Ward and this is called ring my bell so some of you all I'm hearing somebody might call you up somebody might dial you your phone may ring out of the blue maybe somebody might come and pull up on you someone that you obviously haven't heard from in a while um, I definitely feel like this is unexpected. I don't know why. I'm just getting a sense of somebody that you haven't heard from in a while. Um, I see 61 on the bottom of the numerology deck. This is self-love. 61 reduces to 7. So this is definitely an action-based. Uh, so you could be very focused on taking care of you. 
Um, you are your priority. You are taking care of you. You're making sure to love yourself, nurture yourself, to implement that self-discipline, uh, self-respect, to show integrity, dig dignity even. Um, this is a beautiful energy. And that's perhaps why someone may want to come towards you. That 61 is the seven, as I said. So that's like the chariot. So someone could be rushing in towards you. I feel this is someone that is really balanced now. Maybe they've been working on themselves. This could be someone who is perhaps leaving a situation, leaving a, a former partnership uh, to come towards you. This is like a yes answer also. The chariot just speaks to someone being in equilibrium, mind, body, and soul. And also, as I was saying earlier, like the soul controller of their destiny, um, not allowing anybody to uh, manipulate their energy. With ring my bell, I definitely feel like this person may uh, ring you up, dial you up. Um, maybe they'll text you definitely going to visit you because the train just went by and I just heard this, you know, the loud, um, horn. So I do feel like somebody is going to, uh, reach out to you and I feel like it's going to be unexpectedly, you know, this person may ring you unexpectedly. Um, and I feel like you, you may be, you know, you might come off a little guarded, you know, because I'm getting like the seven of wands as well, where you are like, you know, protecting your peace. You're in a protective bubble. Um, you've created like a safe space, a safe haven. Uh, so this person could, you know, they know what they're up against, but I feel like they are um, still going to come in um, regardless because that, you know, with that train going by, I just feel like somebody's really coming in. What did I say about a relationship change? I feel like somebody just left a partnership and it's 11, 11 on the clock. So this could be a twin flame for you, divine feminines. This could be the yang to your yin, perhaps, because someone with this relationship change, maybe they're coming in to change your single status to taken. You know, this is someone who's making a decision. 56 reduces to 11. That 11 reduces to two. So, you know, the 11 is associated with the twin flame number. Um, that's one half of the twin flame. So this is telling me that this is someone who's making a decision, a conscious decision to come towards you. I feel like this is someone that is up in their head a lot about it because this two and this uh, 61, which reduces to seven, that reduces to nine. So this person could be up in their head thinking about this you know, suffering from insomnia, not getting enough rest. You know, I'm thinking of the, like the nine of swords energy. They may see you as someone who is very abundant, very single, looking good, independent, self-sufficient. So they want to change your status. Like I said, uh, they don't want you to be single. They don't want you on the market too much longer because you're going to, someone is absolutely coming in to snatch you up and there will be communication. This blue deals with the throat chakra, the green on the inside of this, um, of this uh, symbol is showing me that this person has a lot of love for you. This is someone that may not have expressed this. And with Ring My Bell, I do feel like this person may have had some sort of wake up call, you know, like something kind of finally hit, you know. Um, but let's see. Let's see what's coming and going out, going on for my Divine Feminine. I may have a message of love and light spirit. Let me just turn this up a little bit more. So ring my bell. Some of you may be dealing, um, you know, some of your names may be Anita. Maybe someone's lives in Louisiana. I'm hearing like the ninth ward, the seventh ward, or fourth ward. You know how they have wards. So I'm, I'm feeling like somebody may be in, I believe they have it in Florida as well. So maybe some of you all are native to Florida or native to Louisiana, New Orleans, because I'm hearing that ward. And I know that those are the locations that have the wards. Um, so... That's just a little download. Maybe for someone specific. What did I say about communication? Someone definitely wants to communicate. And I just saw 1405, which is 55. Five, that's 10. So this is someone that may have just ended something, just completed a karmic cycle. Trust your intuition. I do feel this is your divine masculine. Your divine masculine is trusting their intuition as well. And the four is dealing with also the 1111, that twin flame number. Um, you know, so this is someone who feels that you are like a wish fulfillment. You are someone that is um, their other half, their better half. You know, the one that got away. They feel like they could have, you know, that happy house, happy spouse type of vibes. You know, someone that feels like they can invest in this connection long term, commit, you know, build a home, a nucleus, a family have that, that sense of stability, have that partner in crime, you know, partner in love. 
someone you could pray with, play with, and lay with. Like this is a beautiful energy. And this is someone who is now seeing something very clear. It's like they're trusting their intuition now. Maybe this is something they were fighting before. Maybe there was some fuzziness, some mental conflict. Maybe they had someone manipulating their energy. You know, because my nose was itching earlier, so I felt like um, there was someone nosing around. There was some nosy entity or energy that was nosing around. So maybe this could be someone that was like, you know, nosing around someone that's meant to come into your life. Whatever it is with this four, I feel this is a divine masculine that has a lot of love. Four deals with the heart chakra. Four is also um, that number of the emperor, the divine masculine. So this person is very intuitive. This is someone that may think of you a lot and you may pick up on their energy, uh, you know, you know, you know, just because they think of, of you so much. Because I was picking up like, you know, that uh, nine of swords type of vibes as well. So let's go ahead, get a couple more shuffles. Find spirit of love and light. What's coming in for my beautiful divine feminine? We have a message of love, a message of light. For the Divine Feminine's Spirit. Alright, I heard this is good. After this shuffle, I could cut it. So let's go ahead. Look at this beautiful piece of selen um, citrine. I was about to call it selenite. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a point. See that? It's like a little wand, to be honest with you. Oh, man. So let's go ahead. See what's coming and going on going on with my beautiful Divine Feminine's. It's coming in. What's going out? What's going on, beloveds? So we have in the bottom of the deck, we have spirituality, 7-7. Seven, seven. Isn't that gorgeous? First number we came out with was the number 61, right? And that was also 7. So this is showing me with the spirituality. What did I say about you all, you know, attracting your divine masculine, your divine counterpart? This is you two mirroring one another. So both of you are very much tapped into one another's frequency, this is the intuitive connection that I was picking up on, the spiritual connection. You all have some sort of tie together. Energetic tie, soul tie, spiritual tie, bond connection, maybe a past life bond or connection. But this is someone that you are not in communication with, but they do communicate with you telepathically. They may communicate with you via the dream. Maybe they are astral projectors and they may remote view you. This is someone that's absolutely on your vibration and frequency. Someone who's also just going through some sort of personal growth spurt. You know, maybe they have been mirroring you in a lot of ways on your spiritual journey and path. Uh, maybe the absence, you know, the, the lack of communication is because the two of you have been in some sort of hermit mode, really working on the self, really healing thyself, really, really um, doing that soul work. But I feel this is a very powerful spiritual connection. And I do feel you both are very spiritual. Um, and together you will be a force. I feel like with the 7-7 seven, seven breaking down to 14, there definitely is communication that's coming in unexpectedly. And I do feel there's distance. I also feel there's been a lot of growing. Um, you know, that 14 reduces the 5-5 five, five deals with the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is all about you know, studentship, learning, sitting at the feet of the elders, eating the fruits of knowledge from those that have the wise dome. Um, you know, so these are individuals that are master teachers, pastors, maybe an elder in your family. Um, this is what the energy that I feel uh, is the overall energy. You all have been growing and learning as have uh, your partner, your divine masculine, they have also been growing and learning and, and, and evolving, um, going through some sort of ascension. Uh, for you both to reach the seven, which is the crown chakra, is telling me that there is absolutely divine interventions, downloads, transmissions, communications coming in from the spirit realm, from your higher selves, from the angels, the ancestors. This is like being spiritually guided and divinely protected. And I feel like the spirits, the angels are guiding you, aligning you up with your counterpart. Whenever I see mirrored numbers i always feel this is because you and your person are mirroring one another so this is definitely telling me you both have gone through some sort of personal growth spurt you both have been you know spiritually coming into alignment 
And that's a beautiful energy. Uh, for the person that you are attracting, it says follow your dreams. So that is the intuition card that we saw. First and foremost, they feel that you are uh, their wish fulfillment. Um, remember that four card was showing that this person definitely feels the uh, the love. You know, they feel this, this sense of love, this sense of compassion towards you, attraction. Um, this is someone that absolutely sees you as a star. You're a star in their eyes. Uh, with this 85, that 13 um, reduces to four yet again. So this is that divine masculine. This is someone who you may have had, um, maybe you've had some sort of uh, pre-existing connection with this person. Uh, this could also, I'm getting a sense that some of you all uh, have had um, some sort of connection that was kind of like that runner chaser dynamic and others of you have, um, you will be bumping into someone that will feel like you've known them forever. The, com the chemistry and the synergy will just be that strong. Um, and we have guy and this is called groove me. So this guy definitely is, um, definitely going to, you know, be the one that makes you feel, um, feel loved you know like I feel like this person loves you because I see pink on the inside of this symbol so as I said with that 85 reducing to 13 which reduces to 4 there was definitely some sort of ending so maybe they've just experienced some sort of karmic ending because we did see that relationship change 56 which was letting me know this was your other half or someone that was um, going through some sort of you know cycle completing some sort of cycle I should say and this is someone that is a divine masculine that is uh, very much, you know, very stable, very independent, um, but also someone who has a lot of love. So they do feel your wish fulfillment and they do want to come towards you. So that's beautiful. So let's see, who is this person that my beautiful divine feminines is attracting to them? They have a message of love and light spirit. And this is a guy. So this is a divine masculine with that 13th. So, you know, even if this isn't a guy, um, if you are in same-sex relationships, you, you know, it, it, the same thing applies. Look at that love partnership. I can't make this up. So the person you are attracting to you is someone that wants a love partnership. And check it out. With this 26, they do see you as a wish fulfillment. This could be someone you may deem as a wish fulfillment. I feel this person is mustering up all their strength, courage, and wise domes to come towards you. Because remember, you are coming off very guarded in their eyes. Very defensive in a protective bubble. You may have, you know, been in solitude for quite some time. Because I was picking up on like hermit mode energies. Um, but I do feel, you know, because with that um, energy we saw earlier, it was like I saw a nine and I was saying how the per you know, the, the person you're attracting, um, they may be really going through a lot of, you know, restless nights thinking and agonizing about perhaps this connection if you did uh, bump into this person already. You know, for those of you who are fully aware of who your person is, this person is agonizing over you uh, because they do have a lot of love. And this love is something they have not expressed. There's been a lot of blue, um, you know, in the cards I've been seeing and that blue deals with the throat chakra. Uh, so with this 26, that deals with the strength card in the major arcana. So this person is, you know, first and foremost, they have self sabotage long enough, uh, very anxious, uh, suffering from a lot of, you know, uh, restless nights, as I said, ruminating, pining, agonizing over the situation. But also this is self-imposed uh, because all they got to do is open up their throat chakra and muster up that strength. You know, that orange deals with the sacral, you know, uh, and the sacral is really about moving to the beat of your drum and not caring about you know, any societal norms, do what you feel is best for you. Maybe this person is under some sort of pressure, or maybe they were under some sort of pressure within a relationship, but I do feel that they do, you know, pray and, and, and send up petitions and speak to, you know, perhaps their angels and guides and ask for a way out of this, because this 26 is giving me like the star energy. And the star is really hopeful. Uh, the star knows that they can co-create with source. So this person could be, you know, writing in their manifestation journals or trying to manifest you back. Maybe they think of you so much that this is like, you know, manifesting you in some way. But this is someone that absolutely um, loves you. Someone that desires to be with you. We have Mary J. Blige. You got to believe. So I feel like this person is really, like I said, trying to be hopeful, even though things may not appear to be 
uh, you know, very positive at this time, or there's no communication, there's non-existent, um, you know, the communication is non-existent, it's like they're still remaining hopeful. I'm just getting a, a sense of, you know, because the 17 is the star card in traditional tarot, but that 17 breaks down to eight. So I always liken um, you know, the, the, the number eight to the star as well. But this is someone who has watched you literally turn your vulnerabilities into a superpower. Um, maybe this person didn't believe in you, didn't see your worth and value uh, with Mary J. Blige singing, you gotta believe. Now they're a believer because they've literally watched you transform. They see how much you have been growing, how you've been healing, how you have evolved and ascended. And again, turn your pain into power. So some of you all are manifesting new uh, you've manifested a new life you are doing well you are independent and one thing everyone is very aware of once they gain that independence back is that their independence is the foundation for their happiness and their overall peace of mind so this person is really starting to acknowledge that or notice that even within their own life that they need to be you know, they need to be independent of another person because perhaps maybe they've been codependent. So how they feel about you, let's get that energy. I see 48 financial discipline. So they may see you as very stable. This 48 breaks down to 12. 12 breaks down to 3. Ooh, I got the hiccups. Give me one moment. Pardon me. Ooh, that was good. So this person definitely sees you as an empress, as the divine feminine. A lot of you all have really, you know, I feel like you bounced back from something that was really, really like it was a tower moment. It was like you landed on your feet, you rebuilt from the ground up on a more solid foundation, you reestablished yourselves. Um, and this wasn't an easy feat. I feel like this is something that you all knew you could do. You persevered through a lot. You were very resilient. You kept your eyes on the prize. And it's like you may be very frugal right now because it took a lot for you to get to this place. And I feel like you still have more you are desiring to do but you want to invest in the right things and so right now you could be very frugal um if you are investing it's in your your own business it's in your dreams it's in what you desire to do but i feel like you are following your passions at this time um and it's really making you feel um very invigorated it's like you feel refreshed uh you feel almost like you have that second wind uh, because I feel like some of you all may have found your purpose, your 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 life path, your your soul's mission, um, and whatever it is, I feel like it's going to bring in a lot of stability. Uh, many of you have been mastering your crafts um, during this this time, and what it has done is it has prepared you for a lot of the success and blessings that you are about to uh, receive because I do feel like there's some sort of wish fulfillment because when I heard Mary J. Blige, you got to believe, I was, you know, thinking, you know, in my, in my, uh, in my mind's eye, I was hearing Mary Magdalene um, with that Mary, you know, so I felt like there's wish fulfillment, there's blessings, there's miracles that are starting to uh, unlock in your lives, things that were delayed or blocked. Uh, because of you know karmic debts that you were paying off I feel like there's absolutely a time now where you are going to be so fulfilled and with this financial discipline I feel like you're going to be very um, very wise with how you manage your money your funds your finances this time around so let's see how does this person my divine feminines feel how do they feel about my beautiful divine feminines how does this person our divine feminines is attracting to them feel about my divine feminines they want you to surrender you were coming off very guarded this is what they want we have guapoli singing closer so this person wants to get closer to you and that's what they want they desire you to surrender they desire you to open up to them you know to let down your guard you know to loosen up a little bit this is definitely an energy of someone who wants a brand new start you know I feel like they've been through some things, you've been through some things, because with the 7-7, seven, seven, like I said, mirroring one another, they've grown a lot. They've been through just as much, um, just as many lessons, karmic lessons have learned, just as many karmic lessons as perhaps you have. And I feel like this is all the more reason why um, it's important to show compassion. 
because you don't know what other people have gone through unless you have that conversation out unless you you know have that dialogue and remember with the 77 that breaks down to 14 which is five this person does desire to communicate but you're coming off very guarded you know and I'm hearing the word cold even you know and, and, the, and what she's saying is I'm getting closer to my dream and so this person definitely is you know wanting to shoot their shot you know this 91 breaks down to 10 10 breaks down to one so that one is like that new beginning that's like you know taking action moving forward it's a very action oriented um energy so this person wants you to surrender because they're coming in they're getting closer to their dream so this person could be like i said they might just pop up on you or they might just you know reach out to you unexpectedly and arrange a time for you all to meet up have conversation 32 see that this is telling me to listen to this song 32 music this person could also you know uh, be a musician play an instrument love music maybe you two share an affinity towards music maybe this person hears songs that remind them of you this person could also be clairaudient or you could be clairaudient as well where you may receive channel messages in the music but what she's saying is closer to my dream and remember when I was about to pull the card for the person that you're attracting to you we had that follow your dream card um, number 85 which was 13 which was four and that is the divine masculine's number the emperor the number of the emperor in traditional tarot that's also the number of the heart chakra so this is someone that loves you so you are their dream come true you are their wish fulfillment you are a star in their eyes they are attracted to you they are intrigued by you they are you know they feel that you're very radiant you know like you're regal you're royal they may have missed the mark in the past they did not see your beauty i feel like they did not know who you were like know your worth what did i say about this being a spiritual connection we got spiritual partnership so this is absolutely i'm getting a sense of like divine um divinely ordained this is like a divine counterpart it's a destiny type of love a destiny type of connection it's written in the stars. It's all about divine timing and it will occur in divine order. So there are some pieces to this puzzle, you know, that are still being, um, that are still missing. And so as soon as that has, um, you know, as soon as that has been taken care of, I feel like this person will be coming towards you. So let's see what's hidden in the energy for my divine feminines. And we have slowly, surely. So they're slowly making their way. I'm getting a sense of like the um, knight of pentacles because, you know, the knight takes his time because he wants to get it right. Good things take time to create. So he may be, you know, working on his finances. He may be working on his stability, making sure he's coming in right and exact willing ready and able to be that person that you feel you you deserve you know that you know not even feel you deserve but that you know you deserve this person is absolutely coming towards you they're not going to rush in like the knight of cups swords or the knight of wands that's just not their mo they're going to take their time because they want to get it right they want to get this right this time around and i just saw 333 it was 3303 so that's nine so this is someone you may have given a lot of chances to, you know, and, and they blew it. It's like they, they was like they had blinders on, to be honest with you. But now it's like roles have reversed. It's almost like they're receiving karma. So whatever they've done to you, however, they may have had you up in your head. It's like the roles have been reversed because now they're suffering from insomnia with that three, three, three. That's nine. You know, that's also a number of, you know, of divine uh, energy you know that's a number of manifestation as well three is a very powerful number three is also associated with the ascended masters that roam this earth so they could be working with your person they could really be trying to um you know that's why i said like i feel like, like a sense of like the angels conspiring behind the scenes you know working things out and that's why it's important to be patient and that's why jill scott is saying slowly surely so this person is walking away, I feel, from another connection to come toward you, which is why it may has may have taken as long as it has, has taken. Because what she says is slow. Um, let me get the words. Slowly, surely, 
I walk away from that old desperate and days of love caught up in the maze of love the crazy craze of love thought it was real thought it was good thought it was but it was in love so she's saying like she fell for someone and only to discover that it wasn't love. And maybe this is the circumstance, situation that your person, your divine counterpart is currently in. Is that they thought they was in love. They thought they were in a loveless, uh, love, loving relationship connection. But it, they found out that it wasn't love. Maybe it was a superficial love. Or maybe it was not really love. It was codependent as I was saying. And so that could be the reason why they could be now... Um, learning to stand erect that could be the reason why there's divine timing that's in order because maybe they're learning to to stand independently you know of another person of a relationship and they want to come in when they know they have something to offer so let's go ahead let's see what's hidden in the energy for my divine feminines may I have a message of love and light thank you spirit bottom of the deck we got rebirth so this is someone going through a major transformation and as i said i feel both of you person that you're attracting as well as you have been changing major changes have been taking place there's been a lot of lessons learned what did i just say about individuality the independent someone was in a codependent relationship so this is what's hidden someone's learning to stand on their own too they're realizing their independence is the foundation for their stability and happiness because they've been in a codependent relationship with someone heavily relied on them and i'm hearing financially and so with this too, they're making a decision to leave because they want their independence. They want to stand perpendicular in their square. They want to be alone, you know, because they've been carrying someone. It's been very overwhelming, you know, and that's why they're hoping you will surrender and open up to them. But they're making a conscious decision with that 11 that reduces to two. So that's like duality. That's a decision. Someone has an opportunity. There's a fork in the road. And they're choosing themselves, I heard. And so we have Tito Puente. And this is, oh, yo, como va? I love it. So this is definitely, see that? There goes the three. Creativity. So this person definitely feels that you are their, you know, their divine feminine. You know, this person feels that you are, you know, like, light look how yellow and sunny this card is they see you as someone that's very beautiful very very radiant i heard that word radiant earlier and this is a very radiant color this is also the the number of the solar plexus so this is the sun that shines within so this is how they feel about you that you're very powerful very wise very lovable very nurturing very kind you know, a master manifester. What did I just say about that number three being a very powerful number? So this is really showing me how this person feels with this rebirth. They're going through some sort of startling metamorphosis. They're going through some major transformation and change. And when they evolve or emerge from this, this is what they've discovered. They've discovered how much they love you. They've discovered how much they desire you. You know, they discover just, you know, how much they wish to work things out with you, perhaps. You know, this is someone that really, really feels, you know, that you are the one that got away. I just get a sense that this person feels that you're the one that got away because the 16, 7, and the 6 reduces to 13. And that's what, again, 4. So this is the Divine Masculine going through a major transformation right now. You know, they're going through some sort of startling metamorphosis and what they're going to come out of this feeling is a whole lot of love for you. And this is someone from your past, someone that may have, you know, chose another option. As I said, this could also be associated with like the lovers. So this is someone that does feel that you are their divine counterpart, you know, cosmic companion even, and they want to rush in. This is someone that could have been born in the seventh month. This is someone that absolutely uh, could have been born on the seventh day. You know, but this is someone who does feel um, that you are just beautiful, you know, in every fashion of the word. All right, so, so with this creativity, so 
So this person is going to pop up on you. I truly feel they're going to pop up on you because with our Oyo Como Va playing by Tito Puente is that means, hey, how's it going? You know, so this person may just hit you up, you know, because they really are attracted to you. And remember, the divine feminine and the divine masculine, they attract. They don't chase. They don't have to do anything extra, but just be their authentic selves. And that's what they see. They see you as someone just very beautiful, very radiant, you know, very attractive, you know, just regal and royal. Just They just want to bask in all of your splendor. You know what I'm talking about? And so what they're going to do is they're going to reach out and they're going to ask you like, you know, hey, how's it going? How are you? Like I said, you may, because we had um, ring my bell. So I feel like they will either call you. Someone may just pull up on you. If they know where you reside, if they know where you live, you may just receive a notification and a text message with someone saying, hey, how's it going? Literally, verbatim. So let's go ahead and clarify these messages, shall we? So on the look at this. I can't make this up. The bottom of the witch's wisdom, we have Lady Goddess, the Divine Feminine. And that's what I was just calling this card because this is the number three, which is associated with who? The Empress. So this person does see you as Lady Goddess, their Divine Feminine. I won't be surprised if the Divine Masculine shows up as well. Because whenever that Divine Feminine shows up, the Divine Masculine isn't too far behind. You know, like I said, she attracts. And so this person here, this is what they feel about you. They feel you're very beautiful. Very abundant, very successful, master manifest, very nurturing. You could be birthing new life, new ways of thinking, new projects, new skills, new styles. You could be running a business. You could be starting a new position, new role. This is a very abundant energy, very abundant, you know, vibrant, successful type of energy, self loving, knowing one's worth. This is a beautiful energy. And we have spring here. So this person definitely is seeing how much you have grown. You know, how much you've blossomed. Because I was picking up personal growth, you know, earlier when we saw that seven. And that really is about, you know, personal growth. That's about just evolving and ascending. And we have Casa Overall. And this is called prison and pharmaceutical. So this person could have been self-medicating, you know, but they were always watching because with the watchtower, this is like, you know, I really feel like this person watches you. If you look in the window, it looks like there's a person standing there. I always feel like there's someone standing in the window looking out. But the watchtower tells me that this person is just really watching how much you have like blossomed and evolved and just ascended, emerged as this beautiful goddess, this divine feminine, you know, and with spring, I feel like, you know, they're ready to take action. You know, when you think of a spring, it, it, it helps things to kind of jump or bounce or move. And I feel like they're ready to spring into action. You know, they're ready to take action. I also feel like this person is ready to heal this connection. You know, and, and, and nurture it. The spring is really the new year. So I feel this person wants a new beginning with you. A new opportunity with you. This is someone that feels like you are very radiant. You are very beautiful. They've watched you grow. Maybe something significant will happen in the, you know, in the springtime next year. Clarify these messages. Spirit may have a message of love and of light for my beautiful divine feminine. I saw a balance. So definitely feel like this could be the yang to your yin. And that's why I was picking up divine timing, divine order. Because everything has to balance itself out. That's why it's not, it's not wise to rush things, rush the process, or try to take back routes or shortcuts. Because all you're doing is prolonging the situation. You know, the quickest way to your destination is straightforward. Not no turns, twists, straightforward. It's the shortest distance. And look at this. I just said straightforward and we got Conway the machine. And it says front lines. 
four, four, four on the clock. So your angels are absolutely, you know, watching over this connection. I do feel like it. And with front lines, that's like, I just feel like, you know, that's a straight line. Because I was saying straightforward. So that's like a line. You know, of course a line could be drawn anyway. But I felt like front and center I was hearing. So that's like moving forward. Straight. Straight ahead. So let's go ahead. Let's see what we got. Bottom of the deck. Overall energy. And we have the balance. See that? So this person does balance you out. You balance them out. This is yin yang energy. Twin flame energy. This is exactly what I said. Whenever I see double numbers, I feel that that's you and your person mirroring one another. You both had to balance yourselves. You both had to find equilibrium within yourselves. You can't be in a relationship if you're out of equilibrium, if you're out of harmony. If you have karmic debts, you can't be in any type of twin flame connection because it will taint it. So you both had work to do. You had to find that equilibrium, that balance. And 444 four, four reduces to 16, which is, again, 7. So that's 777, seven, seven, you know? And so that's just telling you that this person is ready to come in. They're ready to take action. They're very balanced now. They found their way. Remember, the 7 is associated with the chariot. And the chariot has to be grounded, balanced, and in alignment in order to get these beautiful lions to move with that force they have to be able to you know control the direction in which that chariot goes so you have to be balanced you have to be in control in 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 equilibrium in harmony not having fears not having you know like you you got to be in harmony so that just confirms it and we have autumn here we are currently enjoying fall equinox at this time it is the fall season which is the same as autumn this is scorpio season well libra scorpio i should say i definitely feel like this person is experiencing some major changes and even while they're going through these changes i feel like they still watch and i feel whether you realize it or not you're helping this person you know, because they're watching your growth, they're watching your ascension, and it's reminding them of their worth and their value. I feel they didn't know their own worth and value, which is why they may not have valued the connection they had with you. Because you were speaking a foreign love language, a language they didn't even understand. And so now through them watching you, it's like they're realizing like things around them could be falling apart. Because they're realizing they're living a lie. I just saw 4747. That's 1111. They're living a lie. So everything could be falling apart. And this is, we're about to clarify the person you're attracting, which is love partnership. And this is that person that thinks you are a wish fulfillment. So they're absolutely watching you because they feel you're their foundation. You're the home, you're the hearth, you know. You make them feel brand new. I'm hearing that song. Ooh, you make me feel brand new. For God blessed me with you. And look what's underneath that, awakening. So they're having some sort of awakening. They're having some sort of clarity about this connection, about what's happening within themselves even. And we have deal. So they think of you on two occasions, day and night, apparently. So they, they definitely um, got dealt a bad hand because I feel like they gambled, you know, and now they're realizing like, you know, they fell short of what they were hoping for, which was to have like, you know, a real loving connection, a real, you know, long standing commitment with someone. But things have been falling apart, you know. Within that dynamic. So let's see. Why is love partnership here for the person um, our beautiful divine feminines is attracting? Why is love partnership here? Thank you, spirit. And we have respect. See that? So they've been learning. They've been holding on to you too. Because this is like, I see five candles here. You know, so they've been learning. You know, five is a very significant number 
um, because it deals with the hierophant. So that's studentship. And I feel like they've been learning, you know, like I said, like maybe sitting at the feet of an elder, getting some sort of advice, you know, but someone is keeping it funky with them, keeping it really real. And with, you know, I only think of you on two occasions, day and night, only you can make it right. So this person is definitely becoming fully aware, as I was saying, that you are their wish fulfillment. You know, they think of you day and night. There's no denying these feelings because love is showing up so frequent. So this person is not playing with their emotions or playing with the time no more because they feel like time is running out. I can't make this up. Love is on the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Cups, Chalice. This is Chalice, fulfillment. You emotionally fulfill them. You you make them feel. They, they have an overwhelming feeling and emotion of love. Something I feel they've never experienced before. And it may have, may, it may have scared them. To be honest with you, I just saw 555, 15, that's 6. So this is that person that wants to return. I'm getting the 6 of cups. Remember, we just saw love, which was the 6, the love. And that's also associated with the love birds. So this is someone that does feel that you are the one that got away. This is why they think of you on two occasions, day and night. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what they're feeling. This is what they've been suppressing. That they wish to give you this cup of love. They wish to extend this to you. They wish to share that with you. And this is what they really hope you do. Because this is what they feel about you. Is please surrender so I can give you all of this love. They want you to put your guard down. They truly learned, you know, the hard way to respect. Because maybe this person lacked respect. Like they, they didn't show the type of respect you deserved. You know, I feel that's one of the things. And that could have been a lesson they had to also learn because you teach people how to treat you. So maybe, as I said, they could have been in a karmic relationship and could have been a doormat to someone else. Or they could have been in a, you know, codependent relationship. And this is something they had to learn. You know, one of their uh, karmic lessons was to stand erect, stand up on their, you know, their own two feet as well. But I do feel like this is someone who was in a connection or a commitment or a relationship where it could have been just about money. Because if you look, this pentacle is the centerpiece. So I do feel like everything was really rooted in finances, material, and things of that nature. But there was very little love there. But what they feel for you is an overflowing feeling of love. Give me one moment. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, y'all. So yeah, so let's go ahead and go ahead and see. So why is 91 surrender here for how this person, our beautiful divine feminines, is attracting to them feels about them? Why is this 91 surrender here for how this person feels about our divine feminine? May I have a message of love and a message of light spirit. A very hush. Like I said, no communication up in their head. Why is 91 surrender here? Ooh, that's too many cards. I can't take all these cards. Let me flip them back. And we have Mary J. Blige, all that I could say playing. See that? So all that they could say, you know. So they, they got something that they're going to want to get off their chest. And they, I feel like there's a little intimidation, a little fears, because I don't feel this is the most expressive person, you know, and I do feel ego plays a part in it, stubbornness even, I'm picking up on stubborn energy, you all are protected, spiritually guided, divinely protected, familiar, someone you're familiar with, someone you're, you're familiar with is absolutely, um, is coming towards you. And your angels and ancestors are protecting you. Look at this cloak. See this cloak? Wasn't I telling y'all that y'all had somebody nosing around? This is somebody that you may not know. It came out in reverse. I don't read reversals. But I definitely feel this is why this guardian is here. Because you're being protected 
by somebody who's a hidden enemy. You know, this is definitely somebody that is in a hidden enemy because this is how this person feels about you is with this card here. Con it says con uh, concealment. Maybe that could just say that they feel you're very guarded or you're a mystery. There's a, a sense of mysticism about you. But I always liken this card to someone that's very, like, sneaky, conniving, manipulative, deceitful. You know, this is like that forked tongue, a Judas, a Jake, a fake a snake. I just don't like that energy. But the way that they feel about you is, you know, maybe they just feel that you are very guarded because you got surrender and then you have concealment. So they just feel like they can't get in. You know, there's no way to get in. And with all that I could say, maybe it's because, you know, you're you're per expecting an apology. And so maybe they're going to come in and say, look, all I could say is I'm sorry. You know, all I could say is I apologize. But with this concealment cloak and with this guardian here, you are absolutely protected if you do have any hidden enemies. And I feel this is also saying that you're highly intuitive as well because this is on the bottom of the deck. So they know, you know, if they're coming off, you know, a little, you know, sneaky because remember, it took a while for these cards to fall out. You know, the first time I was shuffling, it was like a gazillion flipped over. And then the second time this kind of flew out, but it took a while. You know, usually the cards just jump out. So this could be somebody that's just trying to, you know, trying to take their time, you know, trying to pace things to to come in at the right time. Hoping that you would surrender, be open, be receptive. But with this here, they know how intuitive you are. You know, this cat, this black cat is very impervious to threat. So this is a very intuitive animal. They could see in the dark. They could see what's hidden. So maybe you have a very strong sense of intuition, you know? And I feel like this person knows that. So that's why they can be very calculated with their movements. And Mary J. Blige is still singing all that I could say. So they're trying to find the words. I feel like they're really trying to find the right words to say to you. I'm trying to find the right things, you know, to um, the white, the right way to perhaps um, approach you even. And I see a frog here. So they, like I said, they might just, you know, just jump coming out of the blue. You know what I'm saying? Like this could be somebody that just pops in out of the blue. Because, I, you know, when I see frogs, you know, frogs are, um, um, I'm sorry, somebody just text me. Give me one moment. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, you know, um, but you know, whenever I see this frog, it's just speaking about, um, prosperity you know, somebody who could be like, kind of like, seeing you is just very abundant. Very generous. But I also just get a sense this person is just going to just pop in out of the blue. You know what I'm saying? Let me get one more message for why this cloak is here. Why is cloak here for how this person feels about my divine feminine? I may have a message of love and light. Why is this cloak here? See how many cards be flying out? This is ridiculous. I'm nosy now. Now I want to see what flew out. And we have on the bottom of the deck protection. So you are guarded. See that? It says magic circle. So you you definitely are coming off very protected, very guarded in this person's eyes. So we have dedication. This is the ancestors. We have healer, security, death, transformation. We have magic. And we have imag imagination. So you are absolutely absolutely seen as someone very powerful very magical someone who's gone through major transformation and you do not play about your peace you know with the security here this is the same black cat that is on that was on the uh, guardian card 
that cap right there is very impervious so you have security around your premises like you're not playing about your energy you don't want nobody coming in it's like you have changed transformed you've evolved so you're not putting up with the old shenanigans you are also seen as a very master manifester some of you all may make candles you may handcraft candles um you're very very logical very in tune very psychic I feel like this person has watched you like manifest new things in your life. You also have a very strong and close connection with your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors. Like you dedicate a lot of time connecting and building that relationship, which has made you very powerful. You know, healers, shamans, light workers, scryers, seers. Um, but this is how you come off very guarded, very protected. So let's get some more messages. Let me give my cards a bang, bang, boogie. Thank you, Spirit. So why is this 91 Surrender and Concealment here? Who is this playing? So we have the roots. You don't know me. I mean, you got me. Pardon me. If you were worried about where I've been or who I saw or what club I went to with my homie, baby, don't worry. You know that you got me. Okay, so... This is literally the card that flew out along with a couple others, you know, but I'm not going to take those. I'm going to take the one that flew out single. All of these flew out as a clump. This one flew out by itself. And look what it is. Hand fasting. People jumping over a broom. This person has been concealing and hiding their feelings for quite some time. What they're hoping that you do is that you surrender to them when they come in because this is what they want. They want commitment. They want long term. They don't want to play anymore. If you look, this feminine is wearing a ring. So they may come in and propose with you got me the roots. I feel this is someone that you have roots with, someone that you've planted seeds and roots with. This is someone you have history with, I should say. And this is why this person has earned some sort of respect or gained, I should say, some sort of respect for you because they have been watching you from a distance, watching you evolve, watching you ascend, watching you grow, watching you transform. And this has encouraged and motivated them to do the same thing so that they can align with you at the right time, which is divine timing. But this person definitely feels this sense of connectivity with you. And I feel what they've been doing is clearing out whatever karmic lessons, you know, clearing up karmic debts, you know, and just getting rid of old energy, whether it be, you know, old belief systems, ideologies, people, circumstances, maybe they're cleaning house, maybe they're moving out of their home, whatever it is, there's a clearance. So they are clean, clearing and cleansing, purging and getting rid of what no longer serves them, uh, whether people, places and things. And they're gaining the sense of independence, you know, the sense of individuality, something that they may not have ever experienced because they were in codependent connections. So why is this individuality here for the person our beautiful divine feminine is attracting? And we have Slum Village and it's called Untitled Fantastic. So they do feel fantastic being alone. They're getting a taste of singlehood, you know. And I do feel like they are enjoying not having a title, not being in a relationship with somebody that was just, it was like work, you know. See that? We got moons, cycles. So this is what this person had to learn. You know, this was the secret, perhaps. This is something they've been, you know, kind of like living some sort of lie and they had to do some deep diving. You know, they had to grow. They had to, you know, face some of their own um, fears and do their own shadow work. So that's what I think that's hidden is they're doing their shadow work, you know. And they're completing these cycles, wrapping up those cycles, you know, because remember the 56 relationship change card showed up and that was 11 and this is 11 individuality. So the relationship change is saying someone is going from being in a relationship to being single because we have individuality here with the number 11 and then we have this moon. So this is someone doing some really deep dives, taking some internal self audits. This is also someone trusting and listening to their intuition. The moon is all about intuition. This is a very emotional decision that they're making, but they're trusting their intuition. Remember, we saw four intuition earlier. And that was when I was saying that this person that you're attracting is very much in their heart chakra. But they're also 
trusting you know their intuition which is leading them to you they know that you're the one that got away they're going through a rebirth this is the second time rebirth has shown so this person is going through a rebirth and from two different decks so this person is going through some sort of startling metamorphosis but this flame that's lit here is still lit for you so their feelings have been growing intensifying even though it's been lying dormant, it's been growing and intensifying perhaps since you all have been, you know, disconnected because this is a very cold card and this is a winter card. You know, this is like the winter time and the winter is when things die out, fizzle out. And so maybe this is, you know, showing that, you know, this relationship, this connection has fizzled and died, you know, and this person now has given some thought, you know some thought, some real thought to this connection, to their feelings. And they can't deny, you know, this burning flame, this passion they may feel for you. They can't deny that, you know, even though they may try to, they can't, they can't deny it. So why is three creativity here? And remember, as the divine feminine, I always say that you attract, you don't chase, you attract. What did I say about somebody coming home? They goes home and hurt. They want to return to you because you feel like home. Home is where the heart is. You are where this person's heart is. And we just saw that with that chalice card, fulfillment. You fulfill this person's emotional needs. You fulfill their needs. See that? What did I say about a new beginning? We got stability here. We got rebirth. They want to change this whole situation. They want to start over. They want to do over. Because you make them feel fantastic. I feel like this person definitely could be doing some sort of love spells. Maybe they... Are going to someone, you know, trying to manifest you back. Or maybe they're just dreaming about it. Whatever it is, I definitely feel like this person wants to resurrect this connection, reconnect. They have a lot of love, a lot of passion. But this is someone who wants to start over. You know, they want to offer you like some sort of <sighs> olive branch. They want to apologize and we have always something there to remind me. And this is by uh, Naked Eyes. So there's every time they turn around, there's something reminding them of you. I definitely feel like this person really feels you are master manifestors. Very powerful, very beautiful. They got it bad for you. Because this person right here, I'm telling you, like, talking about self-pleasure. So there's always something there to remind them of you. No matter what they're doing. Remember, I always think of you on two occasions. So this person is constantly thinking of you. Constantly has thoughts running around in their head. And this is what's motivating them to come towards you. To come at you. You know, come in your direction. You know, to approach you. To ask for a new start. To ask to... Heal this connection. Transform it. This person's been going through major changes. Maybe you all have been lighting some sort of candles and manifesting them. You know? And now they're coming in. Because you are, you know, you are the conduits of change. And you are definitely master manifestors in this divine feminine energy. So that is a very uh, possible circumstance some of y'all could be doing. Like love spells. You know, but let's go ahead. Look what's on the bottom of the melanated deck. We got the Ace of Cups. So absolutely, this person loves you. Love. I feel like this person wants to. This is a divine feminine and divine masculine coming into union. If you see that cross, that represents masculine feminine energy, and then with this bird, this dove that speaks to rebirth. And we just saw this rebirth. So this is like someone wanting to resurrect to have this new beginning to heal this connection this could lead to marriage babies they've been holding on to you they can't let go because you're up in their head you're in their heart and spirit is offering another opportunity for this chance this connection and it will happen because we got the three of cups which is like reunited and it feels so good this is celebratory moments there's cheers, pouring libation. You know, this is beautiful energy. Wrapping up a cycle. See that ten of swords? Painful endings, losses. But 
having a, a new vision on love, gaining a, you know that opportunity to heal thyself. This is someone who was backstabbed, betrayed, and deceived, you know, in the past, was in the dark about a lot of people, even their own situation. But the smoke, this 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 darkness is slowly dissipating and the sun is slowly coming up. So this ten of swords will become the ace, and they'll be able to cut themselves free from any toxicity and heal themselves with that ace of cups. The ace of cups is all about healing, it's about restoration purification see that someone was flighty in and out someone was definitely all over the place energetically you know just kind of like you know just non-committal you know really being ruled by their phallus just unreliable it's very immature type of energy just not committed to anyone or anything And so we have the Ace of Pentacles here. So there's an end of some sort of toxic cycle. There's an end to some sort of painful, you know, cycle. And there's this new, beautiful, abundant breakthrough, a financial breakthrough. And we got Wu-Tang Clan cream playing right now. I can't make this ish up. So you got some money coming in. This is, this is like the reward for, you know, wrapping up this karmic cycle. Completing a karmic cycle. Some of you all have new jobs, new promotions, pay increases, bonuses. Some of you have just signed new, um, you know, loans, business loans. Maybe your businesses are booming. But it's like once you've finished that cycle, because this always reminds me of like the world card, you know, in traditional tarot. So it's like once you enter into this new chapter, it's like this is what the universe source has waiting for you. Some sort of victory and breakthrough monetarily. And it's like a reward for going through this and surviving, more importantly. But with cash rules, everything around me, cream, get the money, dollar, dollar bill playing. That's what you guys had your minds on. Like you started focusing on perhaps your careers. You know, you started to focus on your coin, your legacy, your family, you know, your future. Turn that thought into reality. Started working on some new projects. I feel like this was the offer also. You received some sort of offer. Maybe someone's coming in to make an offer. But this is tangibles. You know, this is like luxurious gifts. Maybe some of you all are, are treating yourselves. Getting yourselves some sort of major purpose. Maybe you're uh, making some sort of major purchase. Like a new car. Or maybe you're treating yourselves to a new vehicle. Or maybe you're getting a new apartment. Or you're getting a new townhome. Or buying a new home but i just see like you you purchasing something you know something major it's not no little three four hundred dollars you're spending you're spending a couple thousand because you've never done it before you know what i'm saying it's like you're finally treating you because in the past you may have done everything for everyone else but always put yourself on the back burner get everybody else the best gifts and then you just like oh i'm good i'm all right being all modest and shit you know and you tell the wrong people that, they be like, okay. You know, they won't get you shit. But here we have it, the Ten of Swords. That's the energy right there. So what did I say? That's what y'all have been growing from. This is why y'all are spiritually connected. Because this ish right here had to be balanced within yourselves. When you got Ten Swords to the back, that means you got ten more foes around you that you trusted when you shouldn't have. This is Jake's, Judas's, fakes. These are people that are charlatans. These are people that smile and beguile. Those are people that speak with a forked tongue. This is that type of energy. And they backstabbed, deceived, betrayed every chance they got. And this was more than one person. And this ended very painfully, you know, because there was red flags that you ignored because you was giving people the benefit of the doubt. So that's why this balance is here. And this wasn't just you. This is your person also because there's a double number here. But that's why that spirituality is there because you both learned to start listening to your intuition. These swords represent air. Air represents the mind, the psychic connection. So you started to trust, you know, because that ace of swords gives you that logic. It helps you to look at things from a bird's eye view. You start paying attention to your intuition. You start being more discerning. You start trusting that inner wisdom, that inner compass. And that's what brought you back into equilibrium. Because you weren't listening to people's words. People were just talking because they had lips. And you believe their words because you gave people the benefit of the doubt. And all they did was backstab you. Lied, cheated, deceived, betrayed, manipulated, gaslit. That's all that is. This is that energy. But 
you found your balance because you was on a spiritual journey healing growing maturing ascending and so now you're in the space where you have learned you've learned from those those uh karmic lessons and that's why love is here because you're deserving of it you deserve it i just shuffled the hell out of these cards and these same two cards are showing up right back to back that ace of cups is right there this person je definitely loves you because we're about to clarify the person you're attracting to you the person that has this love this love partnership on their brain that's been holding on to you that has learned to gain you know they've they've gained this respect for you because they've watched you grow and transform and evolve into that divine feminine that goddess this is what they want to offer you this is offering love commitment this is somebody that will that really you know wants to uh you know make babies <laughs> and we have kenny Lattimore for you so they're coming in for you to offer you this this cup of love so let's see. Wow, something just flew out. So this is the Four of Swords. So they're they're recovering. This is them taking onus, accountability. That's how they're gaining this respect because now they're surveying their lives, the way that they've handled things in the past because what has brought them to this awareness is that the, you know, the experience they just had with their karmic. It has really, you know, given them a different perspective. But this is them taking onus and accountability reflecting back on the past but more importantly recovering from whatever has happened and all they're thinking about is this you know happily ever after with you because you are someone that's keeping them very hopeful they they are learning to respect you because maybe you came off very genuine very sincere and they didn't appreciate it but they're healing and recovering They've come out of whatever, this Ten of Swords energy, which is very painful. And now they're in the Four of Swords, so there's recovery. They're moving past the pain, moving past the hurt. And we got the King of Wands. They could have been a player, player from the Himalaya. Wandering eye, never satisfied, you know, being ruled by their phallus. But I feel like they could be looking back in awareness, realizing the mistakes. And I do feel like this person wants to come back for you. You know, you could be dealing with someone named Kenny. So why is um, Surrender Cloak hand fasting here for how this person, our Divine Feminine, is attracting to them feels? Thank you, Spirit. And I got the card. We got the Five of Swords. See that? So this person knows, you know, this is, this is why there's this concealment. Because I feel like they want to speak to you but they hide it you know it's like they're hiding you know or trying to suppress or repress how they feel you know and and they're hoping you surrender because maybe this is the last encounter you all had this is the last memory how they feel about you is you've walked away and guarded yourself because of something they may have said or something they may have done and now they are unsure you know maybe they're the one concealing how they feel because they truly want to come towards you, but they're unsure of how you will receive them. They want to come in for you. They really do. But they want you to be open, to be receptive, to be willing to, you know, kind of like surrender to them. Because they are feeling, you know, like they want this this, this to, to work out. They could see you as, you know, as marriage material. And we have the uh, Three of Swords here. They're very heartbroken. You know, they're heartbroken and I feel like they're also like disappointed with themselves. They're disappointed with themselves because they know that they hurt you as well. And that's why they've been in this hermit mode and they're realizing like this is what you are to them. You're the one that got away. They can't deny it. They broke your heart. You can see the face, you know, in um in that heart there and the tears. So they know they've caused a lot of tears you can see that feminine face so they know they broke your heart you know they're fully aware of the heartbreak that they've caused you and that's why I was picking up on like karma because they may have experienced it too but they've been growing and learning and what's come to their attention is that you are a star if you look into this hermits you know lantern there's a star there so they realize in fact you are the star you are that that dream that wish fulfillment the one that got away that's something that they have had some sort of grand epiphany. 
grand epiphany, beloved. So why is individuality moon cycles here for what's hidden for my beautiful divine feminines? And we have the seven of cups. So yeah, you know, that's what was hidden is this person may, you know, need to make some choices. They got some decisions to make and they're going to have to use their intuition. That's why intuition showed up with that four because the masculine has to make some very uh, tough decisions moving forward. See that judgment is here. So this is about, you know, choices. They got options and they're going to have to make a decision. There is some sort of wake up call. You know, I feel like they were in some sort of funk, in some sort of, you know, maybe they felt like they was tra entrapped. But they are definitely going to make the right decision because this two is all about, you know, like that fork in the road as well. So this is someone that... You do have history with someone that you may have, you know, y'all may have to sit down and, and straighten some things out, you know, have some conversations. But I feel like this person is really trying to decide how to do that. We have Elvarna and it says, poor me. And this is featuring Wale. So like I said, they may invite you out, you know, to sit down over a glass of wine or maybe a bite to, bite to eat. You know, and want to have a conversation, you know, want to exchange perhaps even, you know, this apology or extend this olive branch because they really feel, um, they really feel guilty. I feel a lot of guilt, remorse, even overthinking and overanalyzing the situation. They definitely made the wrong decisions. They're realizing that now, um, they realize that, you know, everything that glitters is in gold. And you can't trust every fat ass with a smile. Like, you know, they could have gotten, you know, bamboozled, duped, gaffled, played for Boo Boo the Fool. Like, you know, and, and, and when you have all these options, it is very, it's very easy to get, you know, distracted, confused. Um, but as I said, when you're thinking with your with your phallus and not with your, you know, when you're not using your intuition, which is why that was showing up, like use your intuition, divine masculine. It's like, you could easily get got, you know, these, these young ladies out here know how to, to use what they got to get what they want. So, you know, you got to be on your square, even more divine masculines. So as not to fall into that trap, you know, men been falling into that trap since the beginning of time, you know, hence Adam and Eve beloved. Like, so you can't just be falling for tail. Like that's that's some that's young man ish. You got you gotta be grown about yours. And it's really about respect. You got you you gonna just lay with anything or you you know what I'm saying you got respect for your Johnson? Like this is this is energy that we're talking about. You're you're like exchanging energy with people. So if you got a broad throwing her ass at you at the bar, how many like nights do you think she's been doing that? That's not her first night at the bar that week. I'm sure she had a couple of use in the chair right on next to her buying her drinks and taking her to the telly hours later so it's like you got to have a little more respect for yourselves it ain't about knocking down numbers it's about having some quality having something there that's going to be you know long term that's going to be there for you in the thick of things and um this is what this person is realizing now because they have no choice but to you know dive deep beloved take those internal self audits and that's why they're appreciating now their, you know, their solitude, their peace, their independence, their singlehood, you know, realizing, you know, what their love language is even, you know, and again, through learning, you know, through watching you. But we have, um, who is this? We have um, Love Changes playing, and this is by, um, I can't even see who it's by, so pardon me. Oh, man, what's his name? Khalif. Oh, it's by Khalif. Make you oh so happy. So yeah, this is love changes, beloved. So this person's going through some changes, as we already know, because we saw relationship changes, and now they're going through, you know, the healing process, reflecting. And the beautiful thing about it is they are taking accountability, responsibility, and more importantly, onus for what they've done, which is why they're now, you know, gaining this whole new, you know, profound feeling of respect for you. 
And, you know, they're going to have to come back to you humbly, you know, and, and ask for your forgiveness. So why is three creativity, the um, candles, magic, Yule, rebirth, and the stability card here? Thank you, spirit. And the ace of wands is clarified again. And remember, that's two. So this person is definitely very sure about what they want. And they're very attracted to you. I just heard the word hard on. This person, when they see you, think about you, they get a hard on, period. They got a lot of people that was confusing them. These are like, you know, these are gaslighters. These are people who talk because they have lips. These are people who are in competition. These are master manipulators. And these this is how this person is. Didn't I mention the nine of swords? And this is what they're doing up at night because they made a mistake. They was being manipulated you know, perhaps by their homies, their friends, trying to keep up with the Joneses or trying to, you know, play the part, play the role, trying to appease and please their crew. And, and now this is what they do privately, unbeknownst to their homeboys. But this is very confusion energy. This is also people like biting for attention. But this is a new start, brand new start, moving full speed ahead, going after what you want. And there's no denying the, the, the passion. I was picking up on someone like, you know, they have this fire, this desire, this burning desire. It's a burning desire because that, that flame is still lit, even though it's freezing out here. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this flame is still lit, which tells me this person has been absolutely going through love changes, but still holding on to this passion. You know, you, you are a radiant soul. You are a radiant being. They feel that you are beautiful. You bring them joy and happiness and peace. But I feel they are mustering up the strength to take action, to offer this olive branch. And I do feel like this person has a lot of love. I see a lot of green, you know. So this is someone whose feelings have been growing, like I said, progressively. But they had some very, you know, toxic energy around them. Maybe these are people who are, you know, private, like secretly jealous, you know, intentionally confusing them. These are people who are very competitive, you know. People who are in opposition, combative energy, argumentative energy, people who just, you know, just in the mix and shouldn't be. So let's see what we got coming and going out. Going on. Let's let's uh, clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. Ashe, oh, mention the star. There goes the star there. I told y'all this person feels you are a star. They've been praying for you, wishing for you, hoping for you, especially while they're here. Because now they have this ch this chance, this opportunity in their solitude, you know, privately to really think back to their connections. And what they see is that you've always been a real one. You've always been very grounded. You've always had that loving, nurturing type of energy. You always have been someone that they see as a star. Maybe there's something very unique about you. Maybe you have skills, gifts, and talents that are very unique. But they've watched you kind of like... You know, turn your vulnerabilities into a superpower or turn your pain into power. Even after they've broken your heart, you tend to have transformed and morphed into someone completely different. You know, and this person admires that. You know, there goes the 17. Like I said, that's why I was referencing the eight card. Like you were a wish fulfillment, a star to them. And there it is. So this is just confirming what I was saying and feeling earlier, that they feel you're a star. They feel you are the one that absolutely got away, and they do think of you a lot. This is powerful, you know. So let's see what we got on the split. And we got that king of staff. See that? So they, they do watch you. They stalk you. See that? They are watching you like a hawk. Look how he's just staring and stalking. So this person was, you know, someone who was um, very flighty, you know, unreliable. They wanted to do things their way. And I feel like you just said, you know, part of my back. I'm going to focus on me. You know, because this is all about, like, really co-creating with source, healing, grounding yourself. You know, going through your process as necessary, you know, but also like learning how to co-create with source, manifest, setting up your own prayers and petitions. And I feel like things have been improving. Things are getting beautiful. Things are good now, you know, and this is something they're they're observing at a distance. You know, this is something that they're seeing. We got Davina playing so good. Yep. There's there's a reunion here. You're going to have some sort of celebration. 
some sort of um, some sort of celebratory moment or someone from your past is reuniting with you. Trust your intuition with this high priestess. I definitely feel like you all may know this. Because I do feel y'all are very psychic. Like, I just feel like, you know, the divine feminines, first of all, like they say, the saying is, you know, always trust a woman's intuition. A woman's intuition will never steer them wrong. And I just feel like naturally women are intuitive. Um, but I also feel like this could be, you know, I was picking up on some nosy energy earlier, you know, and this could be someone um, that you may have walked away from that could be kind of like spying on you, maybe getting someone to do some sort of love spells or maybe someone that's coming towards you has some sort of, you know, high priestess doing some love spells on them because they're leaving, you know, because they want to walk away because we do have that card here of individuality, you know, and so that's somebody walking away, especially with this 26 love partnership and that eight of cups, you know, that could be, you know, this divine masculine coming towards you leaving another situation as I was picking up earlier. Because the eight of cups is really about someone who's been giving to a connection so much, but feeling like they got very little in return. And so with this I here, you know, this I, this is like spirit giving them divine download that it's time to move on, walk on, choose yourself, love yourself. Love is an inside job. You can't change anyone but yourself. And so this is what they're doing. You know, they, they, they're they going to have some sort of disagreement, argument. It's going to be some sort of um, very challenging energy that they're going to have to engage with. But I do feel like they are going to uh, defend themselves because this person is fierce. Whoever this is, you know, that, that they are um, having to tell, um, you know, that they wish to leave, you know, for whatever reason, this, this person is like really, really angry about that, you know. Um, but I feel like regardless, you know, this is someone moving, getting away from that. Uh, maybe someone is being rewarded for facing this fierce line, facing their fears. Even this could be very analogous of facing your fears because he's fighting the sword. I mean, fighting the uh, lion, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, for braving your light, you're going to be given this Ace of Pentacles. That's somebody coming in also wanting to offer you something real, tangible, wanting to commit. You know, that's also for some of you all just that confirmation that you have some sort of blessing, wish fulfillment, promotion, pay increase, bonus, job offers. Like there's something tangible coming in that you have prayed for, that you have worked for, that you have planted the seeds. And now they are they are blossoming and, and th thriving and growing. And now there's a harvest, you know. So we have the look at that. Your hard work and effort. Like I said, seeds that you've sowed, they are now blossoming. Look at that. The Eight of Pentacles. You've been working very hard. Spirit has noticed that. That's why you're going to have blessings. Some of you all have already received some good-ass news about your, your future, about your finances. But this is the Eight of Pentacles. This is eyes on the prize, working very diligently, very focused, not allowing anything to distract you. You know, staying very focused on mastering your craft. Got eight pentacles all on your own. This is the hard work. Been able to achieve a lot on your own. Like I said, whatever tower moment you experience, it taught you to be 10 steps ahead of the game. You know, to establish or reestablish a sense of your independence. You know, so you had to really rebuild. You know, you had to rebuild on a solid foundation. And this is something that you learned through the process. It was all karmic lessons. It was all divine time and spirit did that so that you could be in balance, so that you could be in harmony, so that you could be, you know, out of those toxic karmic, you know, type of connections and relationships. So your hard work is paying off, has paid off. This is a beautiful energy. And we have bloodstone. Who has the last laugh now? So yeah. So who has the last laugh when you have been able to rebuild after somebody thought that they killed you? Whatever doesn't kill you, kill you makes you stronger. And you look very strong here. So strong that you are, you know, working on your ninth pentacle. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you're working on pentacle number. I'm sorry. Working on your eighth pentacle. You done banged out. Wait, hold up. That could be number nine because I see one on the floor. Oh, that is a... That's, so you're working on your eighth pentacle, you know, so that's a beautiful, beautiful energy, you know, that you cannot deny, you know, 
So you got the last laugh. So whoever thought they killed you definitely didn't because this is what you're showing up as. This is someone who turned their back on all the nonsense and said, I'm a master of my craft. I'm a sharpen my sword. I'm going to do me. This is also discovering what you do enjoy. You know, this could be a passion. This could be a past. Uh, you know, it's something rooted in your spirituality, your spirituality or in the spiritual realm whatever that is, you know, but it's like you've discovered, you know, your life path, purpose, skill, talent, gift in this process, especially after some sort of ending, some painful ending. It was like a light bulb moment happened. And we all know, you know, the death card that we saw earlier that flew out with all those bunch of cards with the, um, with the, mat, uh, which is wisdom. The death is all about transformation you know it's about that 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 um phoenix you know rising from the ashes and this is dead dead like you ain't dead you dead dead ten swords even one to the head the back of the head like damn they was trying to take you out not trying they you know but it's like this is what you have you know transformed into this is your 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 clap back this is what you know um Revenge looks like sweet revenge looks like this success. It's like you didn't kill me sucker. You made me stronger You know what I'm talking about like fuck out of here part of my part of it, but it's like this is what that looks like This is the sweet revenge your success Look at that ten of Pentacles and you're gonna have that with your person that's coming in for you because this person wants to build that happy house that nucleus this is that person that wants to plant seeds and roots you know, someone willing to commit. This person will be very loyal, very committed, willing to compromise because they've been thinking about this the whole time. This is all they daydream about. This is all they dream about. This is all they think about. Why is 26 love partnerships? Thank you, spirit. What did I say about the nine of Pe Knight of Pentacles? Taking their time to get it right. So this is, we're really like, you know, planning, strategizing. You know, visualizations, but they're strategizing a way to come in because they know they have to come in the right way. You know, the pain that they've caused in the past, they know it's not going to be easy. That's why they're just kind of like sitting here making store to, you know, rejuvenate their own spirit. That way, when they do make this offer, that it will be right and exact, you know, because they know your worth and value. They know what you deserve. This is someone's going through a lot of transformations and changes and trying to make the right decision. So they're trusting their intuition. You know, and I feel like you're going to have the last laugh. You know, we got the Ten of Pentacles flew out. This is how they feel about you. They want to have this family. Happy house, happy spouse. This is what I said. They feel heartbroken, you know, in your absence. You know, they definitely feel heartbroken in your absence. And they do have a lot of regrets. And I feel like, you know, this is something, you know, that has led to you being very guarded. You know, very, very... Um, I was hearing the word cold earlier and that's why you know what they you know how they feel about you is surrender they want you to surrender because you know you're you're hidden you're like a mystery you know you're you're like a mystery they don't know what you're thinking what you're feeling because I feel like there's absolutely no contact but this is you know again they feel like they're fully aware that they've broken your heart. They know the what caused the, the heartbreak because this is the five and the three of swords together is eight. So this is self-sabotage. This is them up in their head replaying whatever they did because this is them all smug, arrogant, you know, very stubborn, just argumentative, cold, logical. And you walked away. You chose to leave that situation behind. And that's why they're just constantly thinking about this situation because they are, now they have regrets because they realize this, he's looking right at this this heart, this three of swords. He's very aware. And, and I feel like now they want to extend this apology. You know, he's holding three swords. So he's fully aware that he caused the heartbreak, heartbreak or the pain, you know, that you've experienced. But we also and we got bloodstone. So that blood, you know, he, he definitely shed blood. That means he, he pierced your heart pretty bad. You know what I'm saying? He definitely pierced your heart with bloodstone. But I also feel like that is saying that this person is aware and this is what they truly want. With the Ten of Pentacles, they can see this future with you. 
This is something they've been hiding. Look what else flew out. We got the Ten of Cups. So this person feels this love, and with the moon, they've been hiding this. This is a secret I feel this person has been keeping from you. Because we got the hand fast in here also with the cloak, remember? So they secretly want this family life. They secretly want, you know, to be your life partner, to be that person that you can call on whenever they need you, whenever you need them. It's like they want to be your rock. They want to be your protector, your provider. This is something they have had this realization. They want to marry you. They, you know, I heard the word elope just now. So they don't even want to. They just want to jump the broom. They might want to take you down to the justice of the peace and just do get it over with. You know what I'm saying? And then take you on like a destination marriage, you know, take you to one of them beautiful islands and just have them cover the course and just pay for everything. Have a friend or two and, you know, maybe your children and then just elope without all of the extras. But this is something this person's been thinking about hard. They have not been playing. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups flew out together along with the moon. So the moon is telling me, I feel this is something they, they really, it's, it's emotions that they've suppressed. And I feel like the more that, you know, they take those internal self audits and reflect, the more they realize, you know, how much they love you. And this is also, you know, their intuition. This, this is their intuition because they're in hermit mode at 18 reduces to nine, you know, so that's really like that hermit mode. And remember, we saw the hermit. And the hermit was looking at a lantern with the star inside of it. And so they're making decisions. And this is the second time the moon flew out. And we got Johnny Kemp just got paid. So this person, I feel like they were in a codependent relationship. And whenever payday came, you know, somebody was hitting them up for money. Somebody was using them for money. Maybe some secrets came out. They may have found out. That somebody was definitely using them for money, had other options, you know, just keeping them confused up in their head. There's two of swords is here. So this is definitely like someone trying to see, you know, beyond the veil. Someone that was very loyal. I feel like spirit is reminding this person, be loyal to you first. You are your priority. But they was really like confused and conflicted had to make right decision and with this individuality i feel like they're going to make the decision to choose themselves why is this individuality the moon wow okay see that the fool this is taking a leap of faith so they are taking a leap of faith starting at ground zero that's a feminine number and then we got the judgment see that so they are making a decision because they've had some sort of wake-up call something woke them up out of this 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 sleep you know they realized like something was going on they had a wake-up call there could have been a third party maybe you've met this person at your place of employment whatever it is I feel like this person does want to build some sort of alliance or a partnership with you they want a partner they don't want someone that they have to take care of that's why they are enjoying their singlehood but I feel strongly like with this fool here, they are recognizing that they were being foolish in, you know, being excited about having all these options because, you know, everything that glitters isn't gold. And I feel like someone may have discovered someone was very superficial and, you know, this was someone that they was um, dealing with that was a karmic. And so maybe this is what led to perhaps you being entangled in a third party or being, um, you know, someone's afterthought perhaps and now they're being judged by that but the player i feel got played i feel this this person you know even if they weren't a player per se they were playing the game they may not have intended to you know hurt anyone but they did and that's all that matters is and that's why they're here learning this lesson and learning to respect you know, the, the, the sanctity of this connection, the relationship. That's why they are taking their time because they want to come in and offer something real, something tangible. This person sees you for who you truly are. So let's see. Why is the um, creativity, candles, magic, staff, and the ace of wands here? May I have a message of love and light. And you will rebirth. May I have a message of love and light for my divine feminines. Why is... 
Thank you, Spirit. See that? The Four of Swords. So this is the same person. You know, this is that same person. They're still recovering. They're still recovering from the pain. Still recovering from the backstabbing. But this is someone remaining hopeful. You know? This is someone remaining hopeful because that fire, you know, whatever that feeling, that emotion that they were suppressing and, and trying to deny and ignore that was lying dormant, it's now erupting within them. That passion is leading them towards you. But this is them taking accountability, realizing like they made the mistake. This Ten of Swords breaks down to the Ace, the One of Swords. And so that's the clarity, that's the illumination, that's cutting themselves also from all of the toxicity. We have Heart here, and this is called Barracuda. So this person does love you when I think of Heart. This is the Four of Swords. It's like they're healing. Let me get one more message for my Divine feminine this one wants to show see that so the magician so they're trying to manifest you back and they could be using candles candle magic you know with barracuda that's a snake if i'm not mistaken is a barracuda a snake let me see i don't know don't get me to line i don't know why i initially thought it was a snake it's some kind of animal let me see what a barracuda is Oh, it's a fish. So it is a large predatory ray finned fish known for its fearsome appearance. So this is what a barracuda looks like. Just in case, because I damn sure didn't know I said it was a snake. But he does look snake-ish. If you look at it, he got a long old you know, body. So that's what a barracuda is. So with barracuda heart, somebody they could be dealing with somebody that's manipulating them. They're dealing with some sort of uh, fishy character here. This is a very predatory person. And remember, I was picking up on somebody nosy. Very nosy. And then with this candles magic, maybe they have somebody that is doing candle magic on them, trying to keep them stuck. Trying to block this connection with the six of coins. I do feel like this person wants to, you know, make things right. I feel like they want to give to you equally. What always stands out to me with this card is this person has three pentacles and they're willing to give you three so this is like equal give and take you know but they have to cut themselves free from this you know master manipulator and i said snake i thought barracuda was a snake but there's a snake that the magician is holding so it was like this person is trying to prevent some sort of change because snakes represent change and transformation they go through those metamorphosis as well they shed so that's the change so this person is trying to you know, prevent some sort of change from happening. Let me get one more messages. Let me get one more message for why the um, creativity, candles, magic, the rebirth, and the staff is here. Yep, queen of coins. So this could be, like I said, a wife. This is that person that they are um, in a, per a relationship with, that they need to change this connection. This is someone that could be holding on to them for money. Somebody that could be holding on to them for finances, just like I said. Because, you know, I, with heart, this person's heart is not in this connection no more. Someone realizes that. And, you know, if they weren't being used for their finances, maybe they are staying with someone in someone's home. And this person is very, like, money motivated everything is about money they keep track of everything they remind this person this is my house this is my car it's like my 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 me 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 i i i that's all this person here is and they're just over it you know and this person's very manipulative that they are dealing with and remember i said the hermit and there goes the hermit again so this person is really fighting their way out of something and this is going to lead to some sort of completion ending nine is the highest number of change they're gaining some sort of i can't make this sentence up gaining some sort of clarity and they're going to move forward and look what i said didn't i say seven the chariot it goes the chariot so they are going to move on they are going to come towards you they're leaving behind some sort of toxic energy that has been trying to keep them stuck that has been trying to keep them constrained. And they're going to come towards you because they do 
have a whole lot of passion. This person got a lot of passion for you, beloveds. Lots and lots of it. And where is the... Um, there it is. I was trying to show you. So someone's just like jealous of someone's transformation. It's like they don't want this person to change. That's why they're trying to still, you know, keep up with these old manipulative tactics and, you know, just just money motivated. And it's just like money is nothing without, you know, like that don't mean nothing, you know, at the end of the day. This person definitely, this is what they want. This is double confirmation. Like they want a new start, a new beginning, a new opportunity to, you know, perhaps repair to resuscitate the connection that they have with you. And we have Prince and the um, Revolution. And this is called um, Cream. So I just thought very dirty thoughts when I heard the word Cream. And if you look at this card, it looks very, you know, like something's just, you know, the way they did this, I feel like they did that purposely. You know, it looks like things are, you know, but just use your own imagination. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so like I said, self-pleasure. <laughs> someone is self-pleasuring. Um, I also feel like someone was manipulating someone for the cream. Remember, Wu-Tang played earlier, cash rules everything around me. That's the acronym for cream. Um, so they could definitely be dealing with somebody that's all about them. Coins, cheddar cheese, biscuits, and dough. Ashe. Uh, but you all have a very special connection with someone. This is not your typical connection. This is a very spiritual connection, partnership. Someone is aware of it. Someone has caught wind. There is a high priestess that is in the background nosing around. They may have been nosing behind the masculine. Masculines aren't very, how do you say, equipped when it comes to securing their ish you know what i'm saying if you got a female that's looking for some ish trust me she's gonna find it and i feel like they got a female that's been looking for things and they found something and landed on information that may have been directed um directly related to you divine feminines and so that could be why they are tightening up on some sort of spell work maybe they're going to some sort of practitioner but remember we saw the guardian this is protected we also saw the protection card so spirit is saying always protect your energy you could also incorporate um and include your divine masculine whether you know who they are or not in your protective um you know um rituals and spells um by just simply saying you know you know, you know what to say. I don't have to tell you. Don't submit your will to me. Be creative. Like, remember, you are master manifester. So whatever you feel in your spirit, whatever your spirit nudges you to do, that's how you do it. However you feel, you should protect your person with a candle. That could be another reason why this is, you know, showing up. Like, maybe do a protective candle for your divine masculine because they are dealing with someone very manipulative. But I do feel this person is not only are they um, getting out of it but they this is like double confirmation that they're gonna have some sort of new start new beginning and they're coming in towards you uh you all are looking amazing this is y'all busy you know unbothered focused um and i feel like that hard work is why you're being rewarded why you're being bliss and more importantly why you have good things coming in for you because you've worked for it and when you work for things it just feels more you feel more gratitude um because you know that you you did the work you know what i'm saying it's, it's better than having ish handed to you so i feel definitely not only are you working your person's working very hard um they're mimic you know mirroring your energy they know what type of you know love language you speak so they are really you know trying to not even trying they are really working hard on healing themselves on taking onus and accountability so that they can come in and offer you something real uh because they do have a whole new profound respect for you uh, something that I don't feel like they may have had in the past. Maybe they thought they had respect and come to realize like they were not. That was the the the, the furthest thing from the truth. Um, but they do know that you are someone that they love. 
Uh, they do feel your your guardedness. They do desire you to let your guards down a little bit and be open to them because they really love you. Uh, we've seen it throughout the reading. Um, so this is on you. I feel like they want to come in and be your prince, your knight in shining armor. Um, and this is the prince in a new power generation, not... Uh, Prince and the Revolution. So definitely, I feel like they are gaining that strength, courage, and wisdom to come towards you. This ended up being a deep dive. Any old who. Uh -huh. But yeah, this is your reading, beautiful Divine Feminine. I hope the message has resonated for you. Please be kind. Reciprocate. Rotate the love. Hit the like button below. That is the way that this works on YouTube. In order to get these videos into the algorithms with the rest of the, you know, uh, tarot reading cards so other people can to uh, discover this reading um, is to hit that like button. That's all I ask for. I don't ask for a donation. I don't even do personal readings. This I give to you all because I love you all. So um, I don't want to leave a whole spiel every reading, but I just want to see, you know, that reciprocated because, you know, people just like being observers, but they don't realize the time and energy it go that goes into doing this, you know, so please, you know, just hit the like button. That's all I ask of you all. But um, thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. As I said, I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the notification, subscribe, show the love. If you're returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, peace, beloveds.